Hi, my name is John Jordan and I am the principal moderator from Brick Lane. We're going to cover the standardisation training for the synoptic assignment in Brick Lane. The reason for the standardisation activity is to cover each of the following objectives in detail using last year's assignment as an example. The assignment brief has requested an arch over the gate opening. This is the drawing exercise which covers task 1. The client is also re requires a new entrance porch and task 2 covers the building of the sample model of the section of the porch. This is the specification which is supplied for the practical task. Everything that you will need will be on that specification. This is an example of a tool list which must be completed by the candidate prior to starting the model. The time taken is not taken out of the allocated time for the task. The task specification guidance clearly indicates three tasks. Task 1 is the scale drawing of the arch. Task 2 is the building of the model. And task 3, which is on the following slide, is a self-evaluation of performance which is to be completed by the learner after all the tasks are complete. This is an example of a quality of drawing presented last year. The original attempt at scale drawing has been completely let down by poor quality labelling. Printing between guidelines should be encouraged. This isometric projection gives candidates a clear view of the model which is to be built. It includes several aspects of brick lane syllabus, including cavity wall construction, solid walls, attached piers, fitting the horizontal damp proof course, brick and edge, the block work. Uh, fitting insulation, wall ties and many plumbing points. It's a plan view of the, the model um, clearly showing the insulation fastened back to the block work with ties and clips. Um, we, let, we left the dimensions off purely because they can be taken from the, the previous drawing. Colleges were asked to supply five photographs, one for each elevation and one of the DPC height and loading out. When taking the pictures, please consider the moderator who has to second mark the models. We need to zoom in and check the plumb, level, gauge, appearance, etc. Please ensure the photographs are clear and taken from the correct angle so this can be done. The completed self-evaluation form must be submitted for evidence. The practical observation form is to be completed as the assessment progresses. It is not used as a marking sheet but supports the marking. Ensure there is no final marks allocated to the practical observation form. It must be remembered that the practical observation forms are not assessment forms. However, they should be used to gather information which will assist assessment. Information related to how the learner has performed against each of the five assessment objectives and learning outcomes. Marking takes place when the task is complete using the candidate record forms. Ensure you have a good understanding of the holistic approach to marking models. The marking grid gives you a clear explanation of A01 which is worth 6 marks. The total marks allocated for the assignment is 60. The bands range for A01 is from poor 1 to 2, to fair 3 to 4, then strong 5 to 6. For A01, recall of knowledge based on the evidence seen and recorded on the performance observation sheet 
you must decide which marks to allocate. As it's only basic knowledge, concentrate on selection of tools, materials, equipment, work process, health and safety. Then allocate the mark. Assessment objective number two, understanding. Again you can see the practical observation sheet is very important when observing the task. Examples of understanding expected areas are interpreting drawings, the specifications, showing an understanding of setting out process, methods of working and applying health and safety. Follow the guidance in the pink boxes for the marking allocation. Here for bring it all together. This slide covers applying knowledge and understanding to the tasks, being able to plan activities and giving information. Materials and techniques are used pro pro appropriately. Correct sequence of operations when setting out and carrying out work. Oh, carrying out work. Safe, clean work. AO5, attention to detail, perfecting. Again, you should have comments on the practical observation sheet if this is work proceeds, covering all aspects of the work. Don't just consider the completed model when deciding the mark. This form is the practical observation form which is used for gathering information whilst the practical tasks are being completed. The next slide will show a practical observation form which has been partially completed by the Centre Tudor. This shows a poor example of a complete practical observation sheet. It's been used as a question and answer sheet by the tutor. The left hand column is an aid to tutors when completing the form. It indicates what to consider when looking at AO1 knowledge and AO2 understanding. The right hand side is for the tutor to make comments on how the learner is performing against the assessment objectives, but being careful not to mark the model this stage. This is a better example of how the marker has commented on the performance of the candidate as work proceeds. The candidate record form is a key document. It is used to mark the work when all of the tasks of 1 to 3 are complete. This is looked at holistically and all marks are justified on the form. Care should be taken to ensure the marks allocated along the top relate to the correct AO. Marks will be related to knowledge in all three tasks. It is the same process for all five assessment objectives and the sum of the marks awarded will be out of 60 allocated. These are typical examples of standardisation activities which could be complete prior to marking the end assignment. Moderation is a process of second marking the practical task and hopefully the centre marks and the moderator marks are much the same. To aid the process mock synoptic assignments will help the candidates but also give the marker a chance to use the holistic marking approach and compare marks with another marker. Use the marking grid to assess work throughout the year on practical models. Compare marks with other colleagues to ensure standardisation. It's important for staff and learners to understand the marking process. You'll probably be looking at round about the end of April for the synoptic assignment, which will give you a chance to mark it for, for May. Um, you'll receive guidance from the City and Guilds Associate Moderators on all the information covered here. Please use the listed contacts as required. I'd like to close the activity now.
and say thank you to everyone for your time. I hope it was very helpful.